Yeah, Taylor Campbell, uh, Justin Sweet, right, Captain, disappointing night for the boys. Yeah, uh, massively. Uh, it's just nowhere near good enough, to be honest. Uh, we know the miles better than that, and that can't happen again. Just can't happen. I mean, they got off to a great start as well, which obviously didn't happen. They're three and up after 10 minutes, so you're, you're right back against the wall, aren't you? So yeah. From there, you didn't do too badly, really, in some respects. Yeah, well, that's what we've said, to be honest. Like, some of the stuff was actually good, and like we did play the way we wanted to, but when we look back, it's like, if you give the balls away where you give away tonight, then you've just got no chances, no matter how well you play. Uh, and even second half, we were a lot better, created chances, obviously got another goal, but like you say, we just shot ourselves in the foot massively. I think you're right as well, because I mean, you could look at all the goals, but that fifth goal, for instance, came from our free kick. Yeah. One ball out of the defence, and suddenly they're really yeah. in the scores, but we've got to be better there, haven't we? Yeah, like, it's massive, like when, like we can't switch off there when we've got free kick and we're loading their box, but we've got to think like, worst comes to worst, we need to be in good positions. And, like I say, that's when you're probably most vulnerable when you've got five, six, seven lads in the box. So that goal, along with the others, is just not good enough at all. Do you think now the lads have probably had a bit of a reality check? Well, I mean, it sounds daft to say 6 2, but might that be a good result in the long run? Uh, I hope so, yeah. I mean, like, even like looking at last season, like th this time last year, we were in the same position where we lost games where we shouldn't. And I think it probably was a reality check with that squad and I think it should be with us where we need to like be working a lot harder than we are. Like don't realise obviously I've me and a few others have played like men's football. But I know and like everyone else in the change room now knows that you're never ever gonna get like an easy game. So you've got to be at it one hundred percent because if one, two, three, four, however many switch off or you're not at the races for one game, then it's just not good enough. Say we win on a Saturday and everything's fine and everyone's happy but then come to a Tuesday game and like say you're 3-0 down after 10 minutes I know obviously we didn't win Saturday but I'm just using an example it just shows you've got to be at it all the time We must, if we can take some encouragement from it you kept going for the full 90 minutes, your heads didn't drop so it was good character show there wasn't it? Yeah it was, um, that was that was positive like even second half obviously everyone wanted to get on the ball we did play some good stuff in the short that if we can tighten things up and all like work on certain aspects of the game, we're a good side. Like when we get the ball down and play, we're a good team. We've got talent all over the pitch. We just need to make sure we just need to brush up on certain things. I'm sure we'll be fine. Thanks very much. Thank you. Chris Sattery, head coach for Chester City United. Um, 6 2 doesn't sound good, you know. So give me an assessment of your game first time. We've prepared. A lot this week for defending set pieces and corners because we struggled in the last game. First goal, corner, back post, back cross goal. So it's like absolute killer blow. But the, the disappointing thing was the reaction. Two, three came very, very quickly. So at that point, um, it's either damage control, lock it up and try and stop it, or just keep to our principles, keep trying to play, keep, keep passing. They did it in spells in the first half. Good, good goal actually. Great way. That's exactly what we do. The, the movement from Dan, the way Ryan slid him in, finish. Like we've been putting things like that together all all week. Uh, so I was happy with that. Second half, you probably gonna ask. So I'll just carry on. Second half, we, we dedicated our game to play. Like then I think we did. We, we kept the ball really well. Forget about the scoreline. Um, we've got to look at it. There's a long, a long, long process this season. We're right at the, we're right at the beginning. So as hard as it is, the, the six goals. We're going to look at every one of them and see how we can do it better. Obviously, but to forget about that and just talk about the positives. The way we kept the ball, the possession was great. We need to create a few more chances. But if we can tidy it up and help the lads with, with defending against lads who've been playing a little bit longer than them, a little bit more nouse, not as naive, stronger. Like if we can we can keep working on those bits we'll come good because we're a good football team. For me, I mean, I totally agree with everything you said for me, what I've noticed in the first four games, maybe it's not so much a Chester Town game, is that in the West I believe the men's team's got tired as a game where more than the teams don't get tired. And also they were very clinical in front of goal. Yeah. I 
mean, it sounds crazy to say you've come off losing six two and your goalkeeper hasn't had a save to make, you know, other than for this, the score six. Yeah. But he hasn't had another, they haven't had another chance sort of thing, you know. So I think but there's lots of positives there, I think you're right. And I thought the second half performance in particular, you know. Well and the finish was excellent for them really. Just like you said, he didn't get a chance, it's just whacking it in the corners. Every chance. Uh, I don't know. This is what happens. The, the the teams, all of them, kind of play in the same way. The weight on errors. They play long. They don't risk much. They don't. They don't play possession football at all. Uh, and I repeat, we're trying to prepare lads to go into a high category of football, where if they don't do the hard stuff, which these teams do, they won't get anywhere really. So we do realise we've got to focus on that. But if they can't play and they don't know how to move, and they don't know how to create things, and have, have composure on the ball, they're, they're also not going to get there. So we're going to have to keep keep pushing and keep keep believing in what we're doing. And that's the way it is. It's tough. It's tough to take, and there'll be probably a couple of other uh, defeats. But we're going to do everything in our power to, to make sure that doesn't happen. I was talking to one of their players, um, and he he's a he played Java and Brandon. Yeah. And in his opinion, despite the score, like, we were much better than them. So that's going to give you a little bit of confidence there. Yeah. Maybe it's easy to say that when you're one six two, but I think he was really genuine when he said. It. When you're seventeen, how how can you know how to defend properly? How can you read passes properly? You can't. How can you outmark a man who's in his mid twenties? Like it's not, it's it's naive for us as coaches to think we can do that. And I, I kind of did a little bit. I thought, oh, but I'm, I'm, my eyes are opening a bit. That it's going to take longer than, than I thought. But they've got great attitudes, and they want to learn. We'll be back in tomorrow. Recovery. Go again Thursday, Friday, and they're becoming a team. Even though it didn't look like that today, the fact that they committed to playing and, and forgot the score and kept doing what we want to do is a, is a good sign because they could have came. That could, that could have went double fix. Yeah. And it didn't. And that was one of the things that Taylor Campbell and Cartman picked out. He said that despite the scoring, despite what's going on, he kept going all the way to the end and that's gonna be a great bonus for you as well. We have to sometimes forget the result and keep doing what we're doing with the ball and trying to keep doing what we're doing without it. It's just it's sometimes it's individual stuff, sometimes we don't they don't move as well as a unit as we want them to. But we've got to have some sort of like principles which we try and stick with because if we start resorting to panic and desperation pumping forward what what other kids could get out of it and i say kids 16 and like 19 to all this one we've got so what are they going to gain we'll have to keep trying to drill in these things we're working on and it's actually really tough to swallow this today like northern league or not it's we'll work all week as professionals really that's what we do and then to take it a feel like that it's going to take a few days, that one. Thanks for your time, Chris.